Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, Firebase push notification tutorial. And what we gotta set up first is we gotta get over to the Apple developer area. Um, we need to set up an app ID and a associated uh, certificate for our app that we're gonna use to test our notifications. So let's get over there. Um, I'm already logged in I'm over here. And the first thing that you'll see when you log in, um, it's obviously you'll see your name or your organization's name. Um, and two, I have two options here. Um, certificates identifiers or profiles is where we're going to go first. Um, this will bring us into our um, setup for um, our identifier for application. Um, and so let's click App IDs um, and then click the plus sign. Um, let's just describe what we're doing here. And this is going to be our notification um, example. And down below here, um, we need to set a bundle ID, so let's go com.idlestack.notification uh, sample, and you can put in <clears throat> you can put in whatever you want um, that matches your organization um, or your personal preference. Um, uh, just remember that we're going to have to use that bundle ID um, later on in um, the project setup in Xcode. Um, and if we scroll down here, um, we're going to see some options in the app services. And what we want to do is we want to select push notifications um, to enable push notifications um, in our application. Um, if we click continue here, this is going to reiterate all the options that we've selected. It'll have an identifier um, showing that we have some other just default things enabled. And then under push notifications, it's going to have a little yellow dot um, it's saying that we've got this set up in our project. We just, however, we need to do some additional configuration. Um, so if we click register, um, this will just confirm that we've that we've made this this app ID, and then we can click done here. Um, so the additional, so we need one. We need to make a few more modifications in the developer area here. And so if we select our notification example, um, we scroll down here um, to edit. It's going to you know, show us some similar things that we've seen before, what we have enabled. But if we scroll all the way down here to the push notification section, um, excuse me, got a little wild scrolling going on. Um, we will, it'll show, it'll let us know that we need to set up a certificate either for production or for development. And for our purposes, we're just going to run this example on our phone. So we're not going to, um, or at least I'm not going to deploy this example to the app store, so I don't need to, or to beta testers for that matter. So I don't need to create a production certificate quite yet. Um, development will be just fine. And so we're going to come through here and we can read a little bit about what it's asking us to do. Um, so we're going to basically, we're going to create a CSR file um, to basically import into uh, our max keychain um, area and so if we click continue here um so at this point it's going to ask us for a file to upload so what we need to do is we need to open keychain access um, on our mac and like so and then in keychain access is have the listing of all of the certs um, that we've got uh, in, on our machine so far and so what we have to do is click keychain access uh, certificate assistant and then our option to request a certificate from a certificate authority is what we want and we want to click that option um, and here's going to populate our email address um, and our name um, if your Mac is configured as such um, and options here we want to select say it's a disk and we also want to specify our own key pair information and so I'm going to click continue here and this is going to ask you um, where, we, where you would like to put um, this um, CSR file and I typically have a directory for these CSR files, um, and then we're going to save it. Um, I just already have one here. I'm just going to overwrite this one because I don't think we need that. I don't need that one anymore. And then we're going to click save, um, oh, confirm the overwrite for me at least. Um, here we're going to keep these options. We're going to click continue, and then we're going to say that we're done here. Okay. So from here, I'm going to close Keychain Access. I'm going to quit. So we're going to select to quit Keychain Access just to get out of there. Then I'm going to go back over to the developer site, and then I'm going to want to choose that file that we just created to upload um, into onto the developer site. And so I'm going to so this was handy because it already had my directory. Um, you you may have put yours in a desktop, so you'll you'll get it from there. You'll just grab it from wherever you you had it. Um, you want to select it and say open, and then I'm going to select continue here. And so this actually 
put up the CSR file up onto the Apple site, the developer site. Um, and so at this point, what I need to do, I need to say, I need to just like download, and this is going to download this cert um, onto my computer again. And then if I select this, it's going to reopen Keychain Access for me. So the reason that I'm re, so we, so at this point we've re, we've imported the CSR file that we created um, into into to our Mac. Um, and so what Firebase requires, Firebase requires that you have a um, requires a .p12 file. So we've made the CSR, which would be really great if Firebase accepted that, but it doesn't. So it requires a, a .p12 file. So getting a the .p12 file is actually really easy. Um, so what we want to do is we want to find the, the the cert that we created, which happens to be right here. Um, and I I can easily identify it because I can see that it was that ex it expires today, um, and I created it today just just a minute ago. Um, and so actually if I expand it with this little triangle here, you'll see this little key. And so if I select this key, I have an option now, if I go to the file menu and export items, it actually will say, it'll say, hey, you want to export this file in format .p12, which is great because that's exactly what Firebase is going to require of this. So I'm going to, I'm going to call this um, notification example. Um, and then I'm going to save it. And that's going to save right to my desktop. And at this point, um, before I, I requested that I wanted to specify my own uh, my own uh, credentials for it, and I'm just going to you know type a password of my choosing, um, and you do the same, but you know make it obviously simple enough that you're going to remember it in a, in a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, otherwise, you don't have to have to redo these steps. Um, so uh, here we hit OK. Um, and this is going to ask, you know, ask us for permission to, to access the keychain, and we want to say, of course. Um, so at this point, we've created our app ID up at the Apple um, developer um, spot, which is great. And we've created our cert um, to match that. And so we're, we're well on our way to, to getting our um, push notifications set up. Um, so I'm going to stop this video um, for now, um, we're going to pick it up. Um, we're going to pick it up. We're going to go, be going over the configuration that happens up on our Firebase account. Uh, thanks for tuning in.